Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be building a sand duplicator for you guys. And yes, if you've noticed the new background thing, my friend made it for me, and I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, for, for this you will need a, you will need a block of your choice that can have redstone placed on top of it and isn't transparent. Sand, sticky piston, redstone dust, IR vendor, redstone repeater, redstone torch, lever, slime block, mycelium, and red mushroom. So it's not, so you might need multiple of these blocks. And yes, you can do it in survival. So, first of all, find your portal lighted up like this. Go down three blocks and go one away from it to here. Be below you, place, below you, place mycelium. It should be at least one block away from that. Place a red mushroom and bone meal it. Sorry about not saying bone meal, but hopefully you watch this whole video before doing it. So bone meal it, it might take you a few tries, but then it deletes that portal. Delete the mushroom, and you can also delete the mycelium underneath and replace it back to whatever it was. And the mycelium doesn't have to be mycelium. It can be anything that ha can allow mushrooms to grow on it. So now you want to put those back up, those blocks back up if you're in creative mode. And now what you want to do is underneath the portal that on the side you broke, you want to place a fist piston not a fist in, facing away from the sides that this side, the opposite side that, is, uh, that isn't broken. Then you wanna place some slime blocks and you wanna make sure none of the slime blocks are touching anything. The slime blocks aren't touching nothing. And make sure there's a block underneath the piston and make sure the redstone goes out three blocks. Then it goes up two like this. So far you should have this. I'll give you a second to catch up because sometimes I it's annoying when YouTubers don't let you have enough time to build it. Also, if you need enough time, you can always pause the video because I'm gonna end my time thing. On top of the two blocks up, you place, on one of them you place, on the first one you place redstone. The second one you place a repeater. In front of that repeater, place your block of choice. Which, if, which if Mumbo Jumbo were, were here, he'd say use wool for the block of choice. Because all of redstone is you use wool. So that when you're breaking up from under the ground or something like that, you know that you aren't breaking your build. But I don't do that. And I, sometimes I do break my build. So now you want to place a redstone torch on top and to the back side like this. Now, on top of the t top one, you want to place a block. And on top of this repeater, you want to place a piston facing away from that redstone torch. It should do this. Then on top of that, you wanna place redstone dust and a block above that, You the piston, you wanna place a block there, go out by one and go out by two blocks there. Actually, no, I forgot one very important thing. On top of the piston, place a block and place put two ticks here then place a block in front of the repeater and make it go one up like that 
and do basically this. Now on top of all these blocks, place redstone and then place sticky pistons facing down. By the way, all of these have to be sticky pistons. Now you want to place underneath these three sticky pistons that you've just placed you want to place three more slime blocks and make sure this is at two ticks like this at one two ticks like this so if you're not a red stoner one tick is this the default setting and two ticks is one click otherwise it won't work now here on the now you want to set up the part that actually resets it you so underneath this redstone torch at the back here you place a redstone dust underneath it to the part where it can be powered then you place two like this and a repeater with four ticks and you can place a lever here to stop to turn it off you might have to reset the sand every time you stop it, but who cares? So now that you have it set up, you need to do one more thing in the end. So all the sand, depending on which way it's facing, will go here, 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 or here. You can turn it on for a second to check which way it will go. So down, you want to place a button, a block, and then a, and then underneath that block, you want to place a minecart hopper with a rail, and then a hopper going into like a little storage system. Because I hooked it up to to one that does four sides, which yes, you can do four sides, but I'm not going to be showing you that because you can just repeat what I showed you on each side. So, yeah, you get a lot of free sand because look at all this sand. Oh, that's not it. Look at all this sand. And it's still going in. So, yeah, you can either kill yourself or you can go and you can go through the end portal and then yeah you have that's your sand duper and you can turn it on and it will fling it through the portal like this hopefully it worked and bye and i hope you had a good video goodbye